Well, today on The Boiling Point, we're going to be talking about strainers today. Now, before we get going, make sure that you like the YouTube channel and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, but also hit that little uh, notification button on there so that you are notified every time that we have a new video, whether it's steam culture, whether it's boiling points, or whether it's a weekly boiler tip, you will be notified. Look forward to talking to Brian today about the strainers. Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this guy you know, Brian Grandstaff. Always great to hang out with you, Brian. Thought we'd talk a little bit about strainers today. Um, really just, you know, the only strainer that I really know of is straining spaghetti or something, you know? So, yeah. Uh, but in, this, in the industry that we're in, of course, there's strainers, and I wanted to talk about how they're used, what they are. Go ahead. Sure. Um, so strainers can be used in a number of different applications. Uh, in our industry, in the steam world, boiler world, um, you've got strainers uh, to protect feed water pumps, mm -hmm. uh, to protect pressure reducing valves, to protect traps, uh, any other kind of pump, oil mm -hmm. pumps. Um, really, you know, the purpose for a strainer in general is to remove any kind of solid particle or sediment or anything that could uh, damage whatever's downstream of the system. Okay. It, you got these little baskets that go in them mm -hmm. um, and you know, things will flow through it, get caught in the basket, um, and then it'll protect uh, like a, a pump or a very expensive control valve from getting, getting damaged. So kind of like this, and of course yep. then that is inside there. Of course, that's a little bit bigger for that one. But anyway, that one yep. actually flows through, actually comes out here, Yep. and everything is caught here. Yep. Right? What we got here? So you got a connection right here. This could actually be uh, piped in for a uh, blowdown valve. Okay. So, you know, one of the ways you keep these baskets clean, uh, especially in a steam world or uh, in other worlds, is you can have that pressure going through there and blow them down periodically, mm -hmm. get that sludge off of these, because these these uh, holes, um, you know, they're they're sized for an application. Mm -hmm. You know, when you when you're selecting one of these strainers, um, you know, you're really sizing this based on what you're trying to protect uh, your system from, okay. and uh, the size of the holes, the pressure drop for the system, you know, has a play in what what this element looks like. Okay. Um, so in this scenario where if you've got one with a bunch of small holes, they can clog up True. pretty quickly. You True. know, it's a maintenance item. You gotta, you gotta maintain this stuff. Yep. Uh, and one of the ways you can do that is by blowing it down regularly. Okay. And that's steam or hot water? I mean, it's... Yeah. 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 Can I mean, be used you know. in both applications? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, what do you got here? Uh, this is actually a trap with an integral strainer. Um, you know, I wanted to pull this out uh, just kind of show you know how important it is some manufacturers actually build this hardware into the valves themselves to be able to protect uh, their really their reputation on their equipment operating correctly oh, okay. you okay. know so uh, this trap uh, is a uh, thermostatic type trap mm -hmm. uh, there's very little movement and there's small holes in here that could get clogged up mm -hmm. so you know having a strainer upstream of that to protect that keeps that trap operating correctly longer oh okay yeah so cool um you know we'll see those in traps uh you know other type of valving systems um you know in our world i talked about pumps protecting control valves pressure reducing valves oil pumps really anything that you've got especially uh, gas regulators even mm -hmm. uh gas yeah, valves gas valve. you yep. know you're you're really just trying to protect any kind of sediment from getting stuck in that stuff to where it won't operate or it'll get damaged. Okay, awesome. Well, make sure yep. you take a look at what you have in your system. And if you don't have something before a control valve and you've got mm -hmm. some dirty uh, fluid or steam or whatever it is, you wanna make sure that we put those in line to, to uh, protect those uh, control valves or, or whatever mm -hmm. it is. So appreciate the information, uh, Brian, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.